everyone. So as we've been all in a lockdown and we haven't been able to go camping anywhere for such a long time, I've decided to get myself ready and the camper van ready for our first camping trip, which hopefully shouldn't be too far now as it's 22nd of June and the campsites are looking to open around the 3rd of July, which we conveniently already had a campsite booked. Unfortunately for a race, running race, I'm now not going to be doing, but we might just go to the campsite anyway. But first things first, we seriously need to declutter this van. It's got to the point where it's so overwhelming. There is so much stuff in here. And I've decided that if we didn't use it last year, it's coming out. It's going to take some doing though. So let's get to it. First things first, I need to empty the van. <laughs> Go back in, all stored away. Say hi, Els. Doing her homework. <laughs> right, so I'm going to declutter and then hopefully find new homes for it all. This is the problem cupboard. It's just, I mean, that's the water container. Then you've got the gas bottle. And then in there, which you can't see that well, is the leisure battery. And there's like all that space back there that I just cannot access easily to get to it, it would be such a big cupboard if I could just get in there so I am tempted to see if I can get Chris to build me an opening there but yeah we'll see okay so I think I'm finally sorted the van is a lot more tidier and organized although I haven't actually taken all that much out I think it was just a case of putting things back where they needed to go. Things are a bit easier to find now. So I'll give you a quick tour of our van. So in here we have our new portolo, which obviously when we're pulled up somewhere, we're gonna actually get out, but this is gonna make a brilliant seat for when Ellie's gonna demonstrate. See, when we go out for the day, isn't it? Do, do, do. We can sit there, yes. make ourselves a cup of tea and have some lunch. We're gonna give all this a bit of a clean in a and second. When when we're driving in the van, we can use it as a footrest. Yes. This is our nice little living area. That's all our blankets and things, pillows on the back there. This is our bed. Yeah, which is also the bed. Under here we have yeah. our little food storage area, which I need to give a bit of a sort out and make sure it's all in date still. Probably not. <laughs> In here is um, crockery so, and flasks and things like that, so cups, mugs. In this cupboard here is our wardrobe, so usually that's where we put all our clothes when we're moving and then if we're... Or when they're dirty. Or yeah, and then it become, becomes a washing basket. Um, toiletries and towels and everything are in there and we have a wardrobe for in the awning when we're pulled up. In here is all our tea, coffee and things like that. In here is all our torches, a few card games. Okay. So in here we've got knives, forks, utensils, tin foil, oh, um, fridge. In there, which Empty. I did actually give a bit of a clean out the other day, so that should all be nice and set to go. Um, so in here is the bane of my life. This is our water container. Our gas is in there, and then back there is our leisure battery. Um, you can't get to the back there, and there's so much wasted space sat on top of the leisure battery. It's frustrating. So I've just put things that we don't need all that often. That's our washing up bowl that we use, some travel pans, um, tea towels, cleaning, cleaning stuff. stuff really. Yeah. All and I'm just hanging here, I've covered. got torches and things. This is all the dog stuff. This is all breakdown stuff. Yeah, 
I think that's the inside. And Towels then, if it's wet. And then back there's the driving thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a tour of that now. So here into the driver, into the front. We haven't really got a great deal of stuff in here. Hello. Dress. But in here, just got walking shoes, picnic blanket, girls' rucksacks, some shopping bags, a stool, a sun shelter for cooking. Yeah, that sort of stuff. Then there's a DVD. And up here, I've just remembered I nearly forgot to show you, is where the girls sleep. This comes pulled right out and then when we we're travelling we put the tables up here and the roof comes flat onto them. Here is all awning rail, covers, um, mattress toppers, sort of thing, uh, the girls chairs and then it backs into the drawer. Um, so yeah, this is quite a good storage little space. We've just got our waterproofs in there and candles to seize the flies away. This is the other side of the wardrobe that I showed you a minute ago, which turns into our washing bin. But these are the godsend. No one's allowed anything more than a packing cube. And then this is our like cupboard for all the things that we pretty much get out when we get there. So gas bottle, the Kadak grill, ground sheet, another mattress topper barbecue legs, walking sticks, a little table and then my electric cable goes in there and then the chairs sit, <coughs> chairs sit nicely in front of that. So yeah, that is it. Now we just need to give him a nice little clean and then we're all set for our next trip. Not that bad.